Well, hello, Tube. Today, for Garb August, we have Lugosi. <clears throat> the Rise and Fall of Hollywood's Dracula by Corin Shadney. And this, I don't even know this. these things exist. I gotta look into, see if there's more of them. So this is like a biography graphic novel. Uh, I, I have no idea what you what you would call it. But it, it was awesome. Hold on, I'm crooked. Thank you. And so this, uh, we got a mess. Yes, keep the ring light off for this one. Too much glare. So this book essentially follows Bela Lugosi from his young days in Hungary, right? Hungary? I don't remember. I read it, but I don't remember. Um, all the way up into his teen years, his traveling with the... Um, with a Shakespeare group in his younger years and eventually making his way to the U.S. of A, to Hollywood, California. And um, essentially, you know, coming to, to New York, not being able to really get anything going, going out to L.A., you know, uh, essentially getting a movie, you know, a movie career going, um, ups and downs, and um, his, I guess, love-hate relationship, his um, his toxic relationship with not only every woman he ever met, but with Boris, uh, what's his face, Boris Karloff, Karnoff, Karloff, Karsoff. Boris Frankenstein, and you know through it, it's, it kind of jumps to present day where he's in a uh, in a hospital uh, going on uh, rehab because he's got a morphine addiction. And um, anyway, it, it basically his rise, his fall. But my favorite part of the book. And the reason why I actually like Bela Lugosi, um, I, I can care less about his Dracula and all that stuff, but the last part of the book talks about his relationship with Ed Wood and, you know, his basically, essentially Ed Wood not only, well, I mean, his career wasn't exactly prospering, but what little bit of a career he had left, Ed Wood pretty much murdered. And, um... Which I like Ed Wood. Um, it's been forever since I've seen any of his movies. Of course, the best movie ever made, playing Nine from Outer Space, uh, which was Bela Lugosi's final movie, and he was only in like two or three scenes, but they kept reusing that same scene of him like walking out of the woods like over and over again. Uh, look, Ed Wood. He 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 was a character. You know, uh, there's a really great movie um, about Ed Wood. I think Johnny Depp plays Ed Wood. Is it a? Is it a? Um, oh, what's his face? Is it a Tim Burton movie? I want to say it is. Uh, excellent movie. I actually want to go back and watch it this weekend. Uh, I go back and watch it. I want to watch it again this weekend. I haven't seen it in probably twenty years, and it, it's. Such a good movie. I also really want to go back and watch Plan 9 from Outer Space, even though it would be a huge waste of time. Um, but it's, it's a special place in my heart. It's like me and my dad used to uh, spend Sundays. I think I've talked about this before, but we used to spend a lot of Sundays watching uh, MST3K, which they never did Plan 9 from Outer Space that I know of. Uh, but that kind of. I had, I had a love for really bad movies back then from MST3K, of course. But the last, uh, the, what's it called? The epilogue. Essentially, the epilogue is Ed Wood picking up 
uh, Bella Lugosi from his uh, apartment and driving him around and uh, essentially getting the scenes he needed for uh, Plan 9 for Night. Or I should say, not necessarily needed, the scenes that were actually uh, eventually used for Plan 9 from Outer Space. I imagine there was a lot more scenes needed, but those are the ones he got. But overall, really cool book. Um, we are it's kind of boring, you know, whatever. But it was such a such a fun read. Um, really, really enjoyed it. I want to, like I said, I want to look and see if there's more of these because if there are, um, I definitely want to. Um, I want to, I want to read them. Then, then in the back, um, it also talks about, like, um, like his, it's got a list of, like, his films and documentaries and things that are about him, so, yeah, really cool. Here's some of the, I guess, like, te test sketches or whatever it's called. The Ghosty, uh, the rise and fall of Hollywood's Dracula. This is a little bit um, not the, not the cleanest video I ever did because for one, it's getting late. I'm tired, but I needed to do this video. I actually got one more video I need to do, so <laughs> help me. Um, a fun book if you're a Bella Lugosi fan. If you've never read, even if you're not a Bella Lugosi fan, and you're just into like graphic novels or whatever this this is a fun one um like i said it makes me want to go watch ed wood this weekend and uh plan nine and maybe some of the other ones uh the bride of the monster glenn of glenda glenn or glenda is that the is the glenn or glenda one the one where it has to do with uh cross-dressing white zombie um Awesome, not only an awesome band, but a cult classic. So, uh, maybe I can talk the girlfriend into, into watching some really bad, cheesy horror movies this weekend. That's it for this one, peeps. Cheers. Cheers.